Well, hello there. Happy hump day. It's Wednesday and I am Denise. I'm a stylist for Color Street and my birthday is this week. So what I'm doing today is my birthday Manny and it is mystery time again. And uh, this one has me excited. Okay, I know I say that about every Manny I do. I'm so excited. But um, I saw this one in one of my groups and I've wanted to replicate it. So um, I never would have thought to put these two together, but wow, they look really, really good. So, um, I think my ridge filler is almost dry. Oh, nope, not quite. Uh, almost. So what are you guys doing this weekend? Anybody going away? Anybody staying in town? I will be in town, but doing various and sundry fun activities. Um, I've got lunch plan. I've got a visit planned and then... Um, in the next couple of weeks, I've got friends that are, you know, going away, going out of town. They've got, you know, stuff happening. So over the next week or two, I've got other stuff happening. So it'll be fun. And, um, in case you're wondering, I'll tell you. I'm 63. Don't, don't tell anyone. <laughs> Actually tell everybody. I don't really care. I'm 63. I'll be 63. And, uh. You know, I I admit it. I take good care of my skin. I know I got the things going on underneath here a little bit, but like my everyone keeps telling me your skin, you don't have any wrinkles. It's like, well, I have a couple, and you know, I've never colored my hair. This is my natural color. Um, the weird thing is that when my father passed, may he rest in peace. When my dad died, he only had gray where I have it too. And, you know, there's some, but I mean, come on, I, I can't complain. I really, truly can't. Um, and, you know, the ends are still totally natural, but um, I don't know. I can't explain it. I don't know where my, uh, you know, eternal youth comes from other than like, okay, I've been telling people for a long time that I operate my life as a highly evolved 19 year old because that's how I feel in here. You know, I'm like 19, um, always like Dick Clark, you know, the world's oldest teenager. So, um, anywho, that's my story and I'm sticking to it. And here we go with the Manny. I'm ready or not. Here we go. Um, I did a, a sample with a different color and that's what those are. So let me put that back there. All right. Our first guest star today is the lovely and talented wander luster and talk about luster i mean that's like pearl with the gradient there's blue there's pink purple it is gorgeous i love this shade and i've wanted to use it for a while and when i saw it in the combination that i'm gonna do which by the way i bet you thought i was gonna do a mermaid manny for my birthday not to so it is not a mermaid manny it's gonna be something else but um yeah, when I saw this combo, I thought, oh, my word. Oh, my Lanta. This is gorgeous. So I'm doing it today. And what I'm going to do is put Wander Luster as my base on all my nails. And then I'm going to do the special guest as the overlay. Oh, no. Don't tell me you just folded like that. Shoot. Well, you know, maybe once I put the overlay on, you won't see that crease right there. Ah, oh, this sucks. Wah. Wah, wah. All right, well, I might as well turn all of you over. Do I have another? Yeah, I have to sacrifice my other pinky. Ah, oh, shoot. This bums me out. What I like to try and do is only use one... You know, we get two little sets of eight strips in each in each thing that you purchase, and uh, yeah, that got got a little bit gobbed up, but it'll it'll be fine once I cover up my uh, put the other overlay on top. Anyhow, I uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I only I try to save half of every set so that I can use one set for one mani and another row of eight for another Manny, but now I only have, I have no more pinkies. So the next Manny that I do with Wander Luster, I, I can't, it has to have something besides the pinky. But that's, 
That's life. That's what all the people say. You're riding high in April, shot down in May. Gotta love Frank Sinatra. All right, I'll trim that up in a second. Oh, see, it almost happened again with this one. And since I put this one on the pinky, I'm gonna put this one on the index over here. If I stretch the pinky horizontally like this, I can fit it on my index. And I have to say, this is beautiful. This is just gorgeous. Oh, where's my pusher? A little trim. Trimarilla. And, well, I don't know. I mean, should I show you the second half now, that what the, the co-star is going to be, or should I lay all my wonder luster, luster first and make you wait? I don't know. What do you think I'm going to do? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, that's talk about karma. All right, I'll sh I'll I'll put the Shangri-La on next. Oh man. J John Lennon Instant Karma is going to get you. Shoot. Well, I wonder if I can put it No, I can't. I've actually tried that before. Laying down a strip and then peeling the the plastic off. You can't do that. It doesn't work that way. All right. Okay, saved it. <laughs> I should say I saved half of it. Now, are you... All right, so the other side has to go on this one here. And has anyone that's been part of Color Street for a while or using it a lot, has anyone ever does, done, done the freezer method? My friend Marie... Um, and on YouTube told me that she does the thing with the freezer where if they're really gummy, you put them in the freezer for a minute. And I know a lot of people just outright store their sets in the freezer anyway. A, my freezer is really small, so I don't have room for it. And also, um, how does that even work? I mean, don't, don't the strips kind of get destroyed in the freezer? I mean, I don't understand. How does, how does it not like harm your strips? I'm confused. Oh, no, wait. I have to do... Yeah, this one over here. Okay. So, yeah, if you have any experience with the freezer, let me know. Um, I guess it kind of contracts everything so that it doesn't get as sticky, but I'm... I'm conflicted. I mean, I'm. <laughs> my other concern is what if I actually like it and I want to start doing it? What do I do with my frozen food? Because my freezer is, um, it's a small like top and bottom and I have the freezer on the top of my fridge and freezer thing. So how do I keep my, fr like I, and also doesn't your, don't things start to smell like polish? I mean, I know that the polish doesn't, I don't know. I'm uh, clearly I'm I'm confused, <laughs> having trouble wrapping my brain around that one. But if you could shed a little clarity, that would be awesome. Um. So yeah, I'm curious about that. And see these little jagged pieces at the at the end right there. It's from the perforation where you rip off the little the little tab, the silver tab. I'm going to try and nudge those back into shape where I want them to go. That's one of my other things about Color Street that I wish we could figure out is a better way to remove it from the um, backing because you have these little tiny little things that are, it's like a little jagged edge and Especially with like dark colors and pale colors and with the solids, it's even more obvious that you've got this little jagged piece, but I want to try and, yeah, that is better. 
Okay. All right, how did that happen? <laughs> oh yeah, pinky, pinky, yeah. All right, so now I got index and middle on the other hand, and I wanna get this right, so. This one gets that. Yeah, you know what, it'll be fine because the overlay that I'm using is going to um, kind of obscure a lot of the, um, what's the word? The coloration, I guess. And you know, I'm having, this is not the easiest strip to work with today, is it? Shoot. Well, all right, let me put, which is the side that gets this one? Yeah, you get this one. No, you get the pale one. So this one goes on this one. I think so. I just don't want them to be the same. No, the, yeah, this one does get. All right, you know what? Whatever. I'm at the whatever stage. I have to get over the balance and symmetry thing. And what better time to do that than on your birthday? Okay. Now what I have to do is get the little end off of this one without without fecking it up. Feck, F-E-C-K. You know, it's just a word. Oh, that worked. Why was I so afraid? It's just a word. Although one word that I'm still squeamish about is the C word. I still can't, you know, it's saved for insults and only for people who really deserve it. But what cracks me up are like people in the UK, they say the C word about everybody, their dogs, their cats, their mother, their neighbor, their best friend at the pub. You know, Nigel walks in, hey, Nigel, you big cat, how are you? You know, it's just, <laughs> it's just funny how it doesn't matter. You know, it's just, it's, it's this multi, multi-use multi-species, multi-gender, whatever. It's just funny. It's probably what I love. One of the things I love about British people the most is their humor. Like Mr. Bean. I love Mr. Bean. Um, John Cleese, A Fish Called Wanda is one of my all-time favorite movies. I don't know if you've ever seen that movie, but it is hilarious. And I'm, if you haven't seen it and you think you might, because I'm talking about it now, I'm not going to give away like why John Cleese wrote the movie or how it ends. But John Cleese wrote this movie with a specific intent. And my God, did he fulfill it. it it's just a hilarious, it's a caper movie. But it's, a, it's a jewel heist movie set in England. And Jamie Lee Curtis portrays a American jewel thief. And Kevin Klein is there supposedly her her brother but not really <laughs> because most of the time in most places you don't screw your brother but <laughs> yeah i'm not gonna go there anyway a fish called wanda is a hilarious movie everyone needs to see this movie michael palin is in it too and um a few other actors whose names i don't know but they're all english actors and i mean they're just so funny Kevin Klein actually won the Oscar for portraying Otto. His name is Otto. It means it <laughs> in Italian. But yeah, he's just he's just hilarious. Oh good, I think I did get this right. And you know, once the overlay goes on, it won't matter. I'm sure you can probably guess what the overlay is or not. But she's a beauty. She's very sparkly. Oh, no, that went on so nicely.
All right, that is good. This is like an oil slick. The way that the colors swirl and blend together. I just, and now that I'm actually putting it on, I love it even more. Wanderluster. And what I was going to do is use a different, um, I was going to go two different, I'll show you in a second why I didn't, but um, all right, Wanderluster. Now, for the co-star of our show, we have the lovely and talented Miss Shangri-La, because look at all that glitter. And this is what I saw the other day somebody do. They put it over Wanderluster, and it looked a uh, freaking amazing. So... I had to do it. I'm replicating it. I'm copying someone else's. But you know what? It's fine. I'm sure other people are doing stuff I've done. I don't understand the whole gatekeeping thing like they invented whatever, you know. Just let everybody do what they're going to do. And if they want to do the same thing I'm doing, do I care? No. And oh my God. Oh, shut up. See, it's kind of obscuring the more pale parts. But I'm really looking forward to seeing it on this one with all of the purple under there. Maybe I should have just used the darker ones. I don't know. I don't know, but I kind of don't care right now. And this is a little tiny bit. Um, I got to do a little bitty trim of that part right there better okay let's um, actually I'm gonna put this on here oh my god I still love it even though you can oh yeah you can see the darker part underneath there ah uh, nice beautiful oh so so happy all right let's get Oh, do I need another pinky? Yes, I do. Oh, I got to open another one. Um, just a moment. Hold, please. Oh, don't tell me this is my last one. No. Yeah, I do. Okay. <laughs> All right. This is, this one that I'm opening now is my second to last Shangri-La. So what this means is that I only have one more in my stash. Because I only have one more, I need to order more with my next order. So, yes, I am hoarding. I admit it. I am a hoarder. I am hoarding the Shangri-La. Shang, 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 and the Shangri-La. Ugh, oh, Grease. Have you seen Grease lately? Everybody needs to see Grease. This movie is so good. you haven't seen Grease, then you don't get that reference. But man, I'm telling you, it, everybody needs to see Grease once a year just because you can. I mean, John Travolta and Olivia Newton-John, it, it's just so good. It's a feel-good movie. It just is. And they filmed that, by the way, at my high school. They filmed that movie at Van Nuys High in the Valley. The scene at the end when they're on the football field. That was filmed at my high school. And I think a lot of the exteriors were filmed there too, if I'm not mistaken. But so yeah, fun fact. Shang Shang, Shang to Shangri-La. Da, 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 da. I forgot the words. We go together like da 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 da. Alright. I won't destroy your hearing anymore <laughs> but it's a great movie if you want to see John Travolta at his like best oh no see this is why they say to do the freezer thing when it does that if you put it in the freezer it's not as sticky so unfortunately I'm already halfway through this Manny and I'm not gonna do the freezer thing now but maybe you know maybe I should put this in the freezer for the next time Or, I know, touch my face a tiny bit, get a little of my oil from my skin on there. Let's see if that doesn't help. Yep, see? <laughs> all right, all good. 
Oh man, do I love this. How do I freaking love this? And I know I keep saying this is in my top 10. I'm going to have to come up with a top 20 or a top 25 or a top 30 or whatever. Because so many of these manis are just so freaking gorgeous. And this one is another. Just obsessed with this. Oh, man. I got to find out who did this and give them the credit and, and put their name somewhere. Um, I'm going to go back in my Facebook groups and find out and uh, put their name so that they know. I know. Well, you know what, though? I'm sure they saw it somewhere. Maybe. I don't know. Does it matter? Help me. <laughs> What do you think? Should I, or should I like not hassle it? Because that's part of my whole overthinking. I mean, I don't know. I'll just say I saw this in a group somewhere and thank you. I'll just do that. That should be okay, right? Oh man, do I love this. This is just stunning. Wow, wow. Yikes. Ah, just beautiful. B E A, beautiful. Oh, man. Could I love it more? I don't think so. Nope, I was wrong. Yep, I love it more now than I did a second ago. <sighs> I love you more today than a minute ago. Yeah, that's another 1960s song referral. It's actually on my boyfriend's, my playlist for my boyfriend. All right, I'm going to spill something that not a lot of people know. But my boyfriend and I are doing long distance because of circumstances beyond our control. He's where he is and I'm here. And, uh, you know, we talk pretty much every night without fail. And, you know, he's getting ready to go to sleep and whatnot. And he's doing his routine and brushing his teeth and... You know, then I tuck him in and we talk on the phone for another half hour. <laughs> but the thing is, you know, while he's brushing his teeth one night out of, the, out of the blue, I just started singing. I don't remember what song I sang. I don't know what it was. But every night now for the past several years, while he's brushing his teeth, I just do a little like toothbrush karaoke or whatever. And I sing to him and he absolutely just loves it. And my playlist is long. I mean, it's got everything from, you know, Sinatra to Meatloaf, who he's a big fan of. Um, you know, you took the words right out of my mouth. Oh, it must have been while you were kissing me. Yeah, that's, you know, Meatloaf is a really good artist. I'm really sad that he died. Every time I see Rocky Horror Picture Show, it's like... Meatloaf again. But anyway, so yeah, he's in there. Sinatra and all the other like old standards from a long time ago. Um, Eagles, Springsteen. There's like every band. And, uh, you know, of course, I Love You More Today Than Yesterday has to be in there too. So yeah, that song is in there. But so yeah, there you have it. I, I sing to my boyfriend. And I will tell you, karaoke night with me is an adventure. But do I care? Not really, because that's the whole point of karaoke, is just to get up there and be a rock star for five minutes. Who doesn't want to do that, you know? And so what if your voice is a little off-key? So is everyone else's. 
that's the fun of karaoke is that everybody sucks equally once in a while you'll get someone that really can sing but you know that's kind of like a you know it's like a like an added bonus of karaoke night is when someone actually can sing but yeah it's fun another one of my karaoke staples is janice joplin i do mercedes benz because it's easy and it's actually also audience participation moment because everybody just claps. All right. Oh, my God, you guys. Holy shit. <laughs> Man, I just can't. I can't even. Could it be more sparkly? I don't think so. Wow, wow. <laughs> uh, dang. Dangity dang, Shabab. All right, everybody, this is the birthday, Manny. I hope you guys are all having an awesome day and an awesome week. And uh, um, I will probably do something for Memorial Day just because I can. We've got like like flag ones too, patriotic ones. But um, this one I'll keep for as long as I can. And uh, that be it for now. This 63-year-old girl, thanks you for watching. And I hope you have a great Memorial Day weekend. And I will see you back. Bye.